Let me repeat, my brothers and sisters. Ida ra'ay tumur ra'ayat al-suda qad ja'at min qibali khurasana fa'atuha fa'inna fiha khalifat Allah al-Mahdi. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is giving advice to his companions. That all my companions, when you see black visuals coming from the east, coming from the side of Khurasan, coming from the direction of Khurasan, that is the east of Madinatul Munawwara. Fa'tuha! Then it's upon you to welcome them. It's upon you to host them. Fa'inna fiha Khalifatullah al-Mahdi. Why? Because there would be Imam al-Mahdi along with them and the beautiful words are there Khalifatullah al-Mahdi this is how Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam takes the name of Mahdi how beautifully how affectionately how lovely that Imam al-Mahdi would be the son of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam min itrati that he would be from the lineage of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam son of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam identifies him as Khalifatullah that he would be the chosen one. He would be the chosen one. He would be the one that would be Allah's Khalifa on earth. Allah's sent ruler on earth. Allah's chosen ruler on earth. And he would come from east. He would come from the direction of Khurasan. And this hadith does not say that when black visuals, black banners come from Khurasan side, then Mahdi would appear from Madinatul Munawwara. No. This hadith says, فَإِنَّ فِيهَا خَلِيفَةَ اللَّهُ الْمَهْدِي إِنَّ فِيهَا خَلِيفَةَ اللَّهُ الْمَهْدِي Let me repeat again. فَإِنَّ فِيهَا خَلِيفَةَ اللَّهُ الْمَهْدِي that Mahdi within them, the Mahdi would come with them. Now, how would you make sense out of these two hadiths? One says that he would be from Ahlul Madina, and the other one says that he would be coming from the direction of Khurasan. Unfortunately, a lot of people these days are trying to hide one hadith over the other. Why would you focus on the hadith of Madinatul Munawwara only and leave out this hadith? Which is also in itself is an authentic hadith. Just because we cannot make sense out of that, we should not pick one over the other. We would present, we should, we must present ourselves as the students of knowledge instead of presenting our own version of understanding of a hadith. So we will try to solve this riddle towards the end as we, as we move forward in today's session. So we would come to get the answer of this question that how come the Mahdi could be from within the people of Medina and also coming from the East? How could that be? We would make sense out of that as we move forward. Let's coming to coming to hadith number five four six two about the signs of Imam al Mahdi. This is five four six two with reference of Abu Dawood Mishkat al Masabi quotes it that qala that wa an Abi Ishaq in qal qala alijun. وَنَظَرَ إِلَى بْنِهِ الْحَسَنِ قَالْ This is a very beautiful hadith. This also clears some confusions some people have created, some people have fabricated some references. This hadith clears it very beautifully and specifies 
it specifies the lineage of Imam al-Mahdi. And this hadith is quoted from Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Qala aliyun wa nazara ila banihi al-hassani qal. That Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he looked at his son Hassan radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And then he said, Inna bni hadha. Inna bni hadha sayyidun. Kama sammahu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wasa yakhruju min sulbihi rajul. Yusamma bismi nabiyyikum. Yushbihuhu fil khuluq. ثم ذكر قصة يملأ الأرض عدلة